In today's video, we are going to be going over basketball shooting drills that will allow you to be able to shoot better in game. Being able to shoot better in game is much different than doing a shooting practice in a practice where you're just doing set shots or you have no defense or you're not doing any movements that you would normally do in game. So these drills are going to be really focused around being able to move like if you were moving in game and then going into your shot. So if you are looking to become a better shooter in basketball, this is the video and the drills that you need to be able to succeed as a shooter. Now let's get down and let's check out these basketball shooting drills. But really quickly, if you want to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out the link down below for the basketball shooting workout. In this first drill, we are doing a quick zigzag at the beginning like if we are trying to just break down our man from half court. Then we are going to then drift out towards the left or right side depending on the situation and then we're going to be waiting for our screen. We're going to be watch, watch how David is able to then put his back to the sideline. That is exactly what you would be looking to do when you are setting yourself up for a screen along the sideline or on that 45. The reason being is because now you are in a good position. You can get your defender to ride the side of your body so that you can line them up on that screen. And then you can pull if they are trying to go either over top or underneath that screen. We're trying to shoot. So that's the idea here, which is coming off of that screen and being able to pull for that shot. Okay, so we're still in that zigzag, but now we're going behind our back. We're doing multiple different crossovers. I want to see a different crossover each and every time, like if we are in game. Now, when we are going up to that pylon, instead of using it as a screen, we're essentially using it as a weak defender. Well, for one, we're kind of using our imagination, but what I really want to see coming off of this... This player is a quick behind the back, and then you get a pull for that shot. There are some times where you need to pull for a shot quickly, and this is one of the dribble moves that you would be able to do if you needed to pull a shot fast. Either a sidestep, or, or, or like a quick crossover, or maybe a quick in and out sidestep, something. But I don't want to have David or, or a Desiree in this video to be doing the exact same move every single time. Because you're not going to be doing the exact same move every single time. I want them to mix things up because that is what's going to happen in game. You never do the exact same moves over and over again in game because then you're able to be read as a defender. Or uh, for your defense to be able to read you. Next we're going to go into a quick spin move off of a punch dribble. So you're gonna do a quick punch dribble in this move. Now at this time we're trying to learn a new move. This is a punch dribble with a spin and this is while still doing the same drill and maybe doing the exact same move over and over again. Now we are really trying to focus in on that punch dribble with a spin move after. Brand new move to be able to learn and we can make five, six shots off of that and move on to the next drill. And of course, don't forget to have fun. You got to have fun. David versus a Desiree. Who's going to score here? Yeah, you get a little bit of a height advantage here, David. You scored on a Desiree. And Desiree's like, yeah, I'll let you have it. Next drill, what we're going to be really working on here is, again, still trying to break down a defender with our dribbles. Again, combo dribbles, multiple dribbles uh, all at once. Try to go through as fast as you can. Now it's just trying to shoot off the dribble. We're not trying to envision ourselves with a defender or coming off of a screen or anything. At this point, we are just trying to pull shots off of a dribble, whether it be a step back or something, whether it be a sidestep something or a crossover. We just want to change up the different moves because, again, we're just not going to be using the exact same moves over and over again, David just broke a Desiree's ankles and he was able to make that shot. Now we're trying to go into coming off of a screen with a defender. Now I was telling them to shoot, but there are times where you just want to drive on your man because you got the height advantage. But here what we're trying to do is just lightly contest a shot and being able to score off of that dribble, whether it be off of a... Uh, off of a shot or a layup, but I would prefer a shot in this drill because that's what we were actually working on in today's training session. 
And now we are just coming off of that screen and setting our feet for that shot. At this point, we don't have defense, but I just want them to be able to set their feet and be able to get that shot off as fast as possible. No defense, just trying to pull that shot as fast as possible, try to get as many shots as we can off of this drill. We're At this point, we're actually going for who can make 10 first. And we just want to try and get these shots off as fast as possible over and over again, just so that we can get our shooting ability better. Now, we're going to go into a quick crossover drill into a shot again this is more something that you could do for a warm-up but i just wanted to, it was a hot day and i just wanted to make it a little bit lighter of a load for them because it's like almost 35 degrees out with the humidex it was hot so just a couple of crossovers i jumped in i did the same drill too now i'm not mobile anymore my knees are shot but i can still make the uh, shot but i just wanted to point this out because a lot of my friends who have played with me in the past when i was a player they see a lot of these videos with David. David is my nephew, and they said, man, David shoots a lot like you. What the heck? And I was like, nah, he doesn't shoot like me. There's no way. So then I put ourselves side by side, and we actually have the same lift and the same release. So that's kind of an interesting thing. But either way, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below if you want to be able to extend your range and shoot the ball from further away. If this video has helped you, hit that like button and subscribe. Comment down below and tell Desiree and David that they did a fantastic job and great shooting. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again in my next video. Good job, David and Desiree.